today we're going to do a review on, well, not really a kind of a review slash unboxing of the Little Passports Global Edition, um, World Edition actually. Um, they have a U.S. edition for older kids, but we signed up for the World Edition. And this is our fourth month, I believe? Um, fourth month. One. Well, technically our fifth month, but they start the countries on the second month. So um, I'll show you what the package yes. looks like. It comes, it says Little Passports, World Edition, Handle with Care, has the country, Egypt, so this one's going to be on Egypt, so they're kind of excited about that. On the back side, it has cute little stamps all over it. Special Delivery, World Traveler, um, just has LittlePassports.com down there if you want to know the site. Um, this is the suitcase they gave us the first time, and you can keep all your... Uh, monthly information, letters from Sam and Sophia, stuff like that in there. We ordered this separately, and my kids love it. It was so worth the money. It's a world coin collection. Um, it has, like, oh my gosh, let's see, 20 coins from countries around the world, and each coin is from a totally different place. It is pretty awesome. I think, was like, I think it was like $20, I want to say. Um, this was one of the things they sent. It's like a slideshow. You look in there and they can see the pictures of France. Um, they sent all sorts of things, but um, this one was from Japan. It's a sushi eraser. And they also sent origami papers and instructions with that one. Um, anyway, so we're going to do an unboxing of Egypt's. Okay, it always comes with a letter from Sam and Sophia, who are, let's okay. see, oh, see, this is the map it came with in the very beginning. And, there's and we can put little tacks that they also come with, their sticker tacks, where they've visited. This is Sam and Sophia. They always, they're traveling around the world, and. In a magic scooter. In a magic scooter, yes. Um, anyway, they send a letter about where they went and a little story about it. I won't read the whole thing because I won't give it away in case you, somebody signs up. Um, Ellen, you want to take the next one out? Okay. Come here, sweetie. Ooh, Sorry. what is that? Egypt Dig Kit. And it has a little mallet and a pick of some sort. I'm guessing we're going to be chipping things off to find what's in there. Mm. That is kind of neat. Look at their costumes. This is actually by Little Passports. I don't know if you can see that. Digging. Yeah, they're in costumes. Egyptian cut. Oh, that's cool. Uh, Look at that. Cool, the money. So they're going to chip away and find the statue. That is pretty cool. Okay, that what else awesome. is in there? Okay. Okay, this comes every time. It always comes with a little activity kit. Um, it's a little booklet. Let's see if I can. And I think there's something. Oh, the last one. It had a recipe. Yeah, sometimes it has recipes, doesn't it? Yeah. So that's a little activity. That is pretty cool. And the next thing. Oh, and a postcard. That's right. A lot of times they have a postcard. Most of the time they do. And it has a picture of them Boston on a camel. Monkey. Yeah, the last one was a monkey. This is Pyramids of Giza, Egypt. It has some information on them. And we always, we, we like to look up kind of information about them. Go ahead. Mm, I don't know that, that doesn't come with it every time. Oh, actually, usually it does come with something similar. Emily. <laughs> so this here is it has a little bit of information on Africa, second largest continent, home of Sahara Desert, um, get more fun facts on Facebook.com, little passports, and then it has a save 15% on any new subscription, give it as a gift or pass this card along to a friend. I don't know if that code is good for one time use only, but if anybody is interested, just, I guess, if you can't make it out, just ask and I will give you the code. It looks like it expires on August 31st, so it's for 15% off. Okay. Okay, the next thing is that. 
Okay, this is our sticker. our luggage sticker. I, I get a All of them, them come stuff. on come with luggage stickers. There's France and Japan and Brazil. Oh, uh, where's the other one? Japan. Oh, oh it's there. Right there. Okay. So Ellie likes to put that sticker on. Last time Ethan did it. Yeah. I'll do it this way because Yeah, that's probably best. Good job. Okay, what else is in there? Okay, where is it? <laughs> I can edit it out. Okay, here we have our luggage tags, our boarding pass put it on here. to Egypt. We, we're collecting them here. And then this is what I was about to say earlier. Um, this has a code. I'm going to cover it just because I don't know if it's a one-time use thing, but um, destination and then the code and then you you have access to all sorts of learning games about that country um, and you we just store those on the handle okay anything else in there just one more one more thing, okay, and this is the... I'll show you what the stickers are. Yeah, when, you, when we first signed up, the first month, mm -hmm. along with the luggage and the map, came a passport book. And in the passport book, they put their country stamps, and that's what this one will be, Egypt. So it's got their flag. It's pretty neat. It kind of helps teach them about the country's different flags and everything. And then also on that yeah. is the map marker. So we go, which is also good for geography, we find it on the map. So let's find Egypt. Egypt is right. Can you see it? Uh, Egypt, yeah. Egypt, see it? So can you put the thing on? Yeah. Hard to take off. Um, we're like, um, just put it on the country right on it. There you go. Perfect. And that is everything in the little passports book. It's great to kind of even start a conversation about the other countries. We can look up more information. Um, it gives them activities to do. The, we'll read the letter later on. That gives information about it as well, um, about their adventure, Sam and Sophia's. Um, it gives information on here. Just full of information. And my kids look forward to it every month. It makes geography fun because we could not find a good fun way to teach geography. My kids were so bored with it. So anyway, when you're done with all this, you could just put it in your luggage and wait for the next month. I think next month is going to be Australia, I believe they said. So anyways, talk to you later guys. Bye.